Hi guys, so today I have for you another awesome recipe. This one is for carrot ginger chicken. It's a part of my lean diet, healthy diet. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I separate my meals to free meals and workout earned meals. So the workout earned meals are usually full of carbs and those are great after your workouts. But if you want to be lean, if you want to have a lot of energy, stick to low carb meals. There are tons of recipes that are really delicious and that will support your training. This one is one of them. So the carrot ginger chicken is one of my free meals that I can enjoy anytime during the day. All I have to worry about is my portion size. So now I'm gonna show you how to prepare it. First of all, you're gonna need chicken. So chicken breasts and you have to start by sauteing the chicken breasts. You just saute it on a little bit of oil, salt and pepper until it's nice golden brown. And then you set the chicken aside and you're gonna prepare the soup. So for the soup, you're gonna need carrots, three cups of carrots. You will need one large onion, coarsely chopped. Then you're gonna need some ginger, cinnamon, chili. I'm gonna have all the ingredients for you guys on my website, so check it out. And I'm just gonna walk you through it, how to put the recipe together. So get a medium sized pot ready. Turn on the heat on medium high. And you will take coconut oil, one tablespoon of coconut oil, and I got this one on Thrive Market because it's so much cheaper there. You can get um, great foods, whole foods, healthy foods for so much cheaper, wholesale, wholesale prices. So, one tablespoon of coconut oil, then let it heat up in the pot, delicious. I put coconut oil in my coffee in the mornings before my workout. Oh, it's delicious. Make sure the coconut oil is hot and then add the chopped onion into the pot. It should sizzle. Mix it in and you're gonna saute the onion until it's golden brown. So the onions are nicely golden brown. So we're gonna add the ginger. One tablespoon of freshly ground ginger. Mix it in. Add one more tablespoon of the coconut oil. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Half teaspoon of chili powder. A little bit of heat. Mix it and saute for another minute. Now you add the three cups of chopped carrots, coat it in the onions and the, the spices, coconut milk, you're gonna need one cup, and again I'm, um, I bought this coconut milk from Thrive Market because it's cheaper and I love this brand because this brand uh, makes these non-BPA packaging, which is really important because regular cans, regular packaging kind of leaks into your food, the chemicals from it, and so this one doesn't have that. So this packaging is a lot safer. You don't have to worry about buying coconut milk from this company. And like I said, you can find it on Thrive Market for a lot, lot cheaper. So one cup of the coconut milk. Then you will need either cashew milk, unsweetened cashew milk or unsweetened almond milk. It's up to you which one you pick. Today I'm using cashew milk and I will add three cups of the cashew milk. One, two, and three. You will need an orange. So cut the orange in half and get the juice out of the fresh orange. So juice out of one orange. If a little bit of pulp gets in there, that's fine too. Just pour it in. And 
So keep it on medium high until it starts to boil. Once the soup starts boiling, you will lower the heat to medium low and you're gonna cover it with a lid and just let it simmer and let it cook until the carrots are completely soft. So once the carrots are cooked and soft, then you wanna let it chill for a couple minutes just to let it cool down because you don't want it steamy hot when you put it into a blender. I'm using my Vitamix blender, which is my favorite, and I always keep telling you guys it's so worth it to get the Vitamix blender. And I'm not affiliated with them, it's not like I'm, uh, this is not a paid commercial for Vitamix, but it's just a, a, a brand that I really love, and this blender was so worth every penny. So you're gonna pour the soup into the blender. And you're gonna blend it until completely smooth. Now you pour the soup back into the pot. Now you see how thick it is. It's so much thicker, it's creamy. It smells delicious. And you can add the sauteed chicken into the soup. Add some salt, pepper, mix it, and now just serve and garnish. I always like to garnish my soups with shredded green onions because it always makes it so pretty. And that's it, you're done. So enjoy your soup, let me know how you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any new recipes, workouts and coffee talks and I will see you guys soon. Ciao!